The head of the police union is sounding off against the charges brought by the Fulton County District Attorney against Rolf and Brosnan. Let's discuss the case from a law enforcement perspective with former Washington, D.C. police detective, attorney, and Fox News contributor Ted Williams, and the former assistant police chief of DeKalb County, Georgia, John Pearson. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so, uh, another familiar name we all know here, uh, Andrew McCarthy, Andy McCarthy to us, writes in the National Review under this headline, Brooks shooting the political prosecutor caves into the mob. He says this, he describes it as a hyper-political county prosecutor under the corruption microscope as he desperately seeks re-election, filing trumped up mob-driven charges before the actual investigators have a chance to finish their work. He says the prosecutor's press conference was theater of the uh, absurd. And Ted, I saw your reaction after this was rolled out yesterday and Mr. Howard spoke. Um, you didn't seem too uh, convinced of what he was doing. Now that you've had a day to think about it, how do you feel tonight? Well, I felt clearly the same way, and the way I felt last night, it was unfortunate the way D.A. Paul Howard rolled out these charges. Uh, what normally happens, uh, Shannon, when a police officer is accused of something, the police officer is put on administrative leave, mm -hmm. pending the outcome of an investigation. This, was not hap this did not happen here. Uh, Ralph immediately was fired by the mayor, uh, Mayor Bottoms, uh, Lance Bottoms, and uh, the other individual was put on leave. But the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, who is conducting this investigation, mm -hmm. was not allowed to perm uh, permit it to uh, finish the investigation before these officers were charged. And the men and women of that police department sees this, and they believe it's clearly unfair. Well, and to that point, the American Thinker writes about how officers must be feeling now. Many of them says police officers understand what's happening here. They're being told that they will be presumed guilty anytime they shoot someone in what they believe is a life or death situation. This presumption will escalate if the person shot is black or if the DA is hyper political or corrupt. They understand that the DA just turned them into sitting ducks. John, is that overstating how law enforcement feels right now? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it is at all. You know, the Atlanta Police Department and all law enforcement with, um, are at a place of uncertainty. The rules of the game uh, have just uh, been altered and changed, and the officers don't know what they are now. Um, I, I think that if if we're going to be able to move forward from this, you know. The, the, the district attorney, Mr. Howard, uh, the mayor, uh, the new chief, they need to sit down with the officers and make sure that they understand how they're going to be evaluated. Uh, they've just, it's, it's like, as Ted said, they've just changed the way that, that they do things. Officers are normally, we would be placed on administrative leave. The uh, two investigations would, uh, would run simultaneously, the criminal investigation and the internal affairs investigation. And then once some findings are, are brought forth, then the determination would be uh, made as to how to move forward. Well, and, and, you know, in watching all of this play out tonight um, and, and last night, we were told that a number of officers did not show up. They called out sick. There was pushback on that, saying it was over exaggerated. Um, but writing in the root, uh, the piece is this Atlanta officers call in sick after former cop who shot Rayshard Brooks charged with felony murder. Writer says you would think that black people were asking for something impractical, like the public tarring and feathering of everyone who wears a badge. Yet our request is simple. Stop with the extrajudicial executions of black people who pose no immediate threat to anyone's lives and prosecute the cops who continue to engage in the practice. Um, Ted, the author feels like cops are overreacting. Yeah, I, I, I think it's unfortunate. Uh, it appears in this case that the prosecution of these two officers uh, and the the rhetoric, should we say, of the mayor is driven by the public and the way the public feels. And that isn't the way it should be. It should be driven by the evidence. Shannon, I've never seen an officer act as courteous or as Rolf acted when he came upon that scene and would made contact with Mr. Brooks. And if you really look at the film here, it was Mr. Brooks, unfortunately, who broke bad, and I'm sorry that this man is dead. Let me make sure we're clear on that. But 
he put in effect the cause of what took place as a result of this by assaulting the officer. That was clearly inappropriate and should not have taken place. And Don, could, could I'll I add to you? <clears throat> yes, please. And, and he violently assaulted that officer. You know, and, and Georgia law states that officer may use deadly force to apprehend a suspected felon uh, when the officer reasonably believes that the suspect poses an immediate threat of physical violence to the officer or another person. Clearly, that was the, that was the situation that that officer was faced with. Well, John and Ted, uh, along with the rest of the world, we will watch every twist and turn in this case. We thank you both for weighing in. Thank you. Pleasure.